Hey guys, this is Alfredo. Today we're going to do a complete guide of how to set up and install HiveOS on a GPU miner. Let's get started. So I want to talk a little bit about HiveOS's ecosystem. I'm on HiveOn.com. HiveOS gives you the ability to manage all of your devices within HiveOS. HiveOS also has its own pool for Ethereum Classic and Ravencoin. Additionally, you can connect your ASIC miners into HiveOS as well using their native OS, or you can install the firmware from HiveOS and get additional features. So when I first started mining, I would use Windows and install the mining software so that I could mine cryptocurrency. This does work fine if you're just going to mine with one or two miners. Download compatible mining software, then configuring each of the text files to mine those cryptocurrencies is not too much trouble for one or two miners. But once you get above three or four miners, that's when managing multiple miners becomes more and more of a headache. I then switched to Ubuntu once I started having issues with compatibility issues of drivers having rigs with six or more video cards. Ubuntu was much more stable in those situations. But again, I would need to go in and edit all the configuration files manually. HiveOS addresses all those issues and much, much more. It's easy to install, it supports ASICs, GPUs, CPUs, and as you can see, HiveOS is based on the Ubuntu software. 16.04 LTS, or long-term support. It allows for real-time data monitoring, which previously you would have to move from machine to machine. I have the ability to monitor and manage all my miners from one interface. I can change a flight sheet, which changes the quinine mining on one rig or all the rigs at the same time. Okay guys, I'm gonna go step by step on this. I will include chapters for this, but let's get started. The very first thing you need to do is create a Google account specifically just for mining. So I'm on accounts.google.com slash sign up. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my first name here. And the last name I'm gonna put is Miner. I'm gonna click on Next. I'm gonna put in a birth date. I'm gonna put that I'm male. I'm gonna click Next. I'm gonna create my own Gmail account. I'm going to click on next. I'm going to create a password for this account. I'm going to click next. Uh, I'm going to put in a phone number for this account. It will send me a text message. I'm going to click next. I'm going to put a recovery email address. I'm going to click on next. I'm going to include my phone number. Click next. I'm going to go ahead and skip this section and I'm going to click next. I'm going to agree and confirm. And we have successfully created a Gmail account. The reason I created this Gmail account is to receive emails for this miner. I'm going to click up here where it says Gmail. It's going to send me to mail.google.com and I have a new email address. So what I'm going to do is set up two-factor authentication. So I'm going to click up here on my Google account. I'm going to say manage Google account. I'm going to go to security. I'm going to enable two-step verification. So it's off at the moment. I'm going to click on get started. I'm going to receive a text message. 
I click on next. It's going to send me another text message. I'm going to put in the number that it gave me. I'm going to click on next. And I'm going to turn on two-step authentication. Okay, let's set up a Hive OS account. I'm going to click on sign in. And then I'm going to click on register. Let's put in the email address that we just created. Let's set up a username. And let's put in a password. I'm going to click on register with email. Never going to save a password. And now they've sent an email to the email address that we've set up. So let's go take a look. Okay, I'm in the inbox of my new Gmail account and I see the Hivon ID verification email. I'm going to click on the email address for verification. And there's the verification email. My email is confirmed. I'm going to go ahead and close this window. Go back to the sign in. The account general tab shows my login, Kaizen Miner, password tab, authenticator. So what I'm going to do is turn on two-factor authenticator. Click this button right here. It sent an email to my email address. So I'm going to check my email again. I'm going to go back. Here's the security code that it sent me. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to click on confirm. It's now giving me the code to use with my app. So I'm going to go to the app store and search for Google Authenticator. And as you can see, I already have it installed, but that is the icon and go ahead and install it. Now that I have Google Authenticator installed, I'm going to use it to scan this QR code. I'm going to click the colorful plus sign and then scan the QR code with my camera with my phone. This adds the two-factor authentication to my Authenticator app. Now I'm going to put in the two-factor authentication. And now two-factor authentication is turned on. Now that I'm logged into Hive OS, I'm going to click where it says Hive ID and switch to Hive OS. Here you're going to see a start screen. I'm going to click on start. And we are ready to start adding a miner. So Hive OS already created a farm for me. I'm going to click on Guys and Miner Farm. And you're going to see that it gives me two options. I'm going to go ahead and click on Add Rig. And I'm going to install Hive OS on your rig drive. I'm going to click on Mac OS since I'm using a Mac. I'm going to select the latest and I'm going to click on download. And as you can see, it's downloading the image right now. I'll come back to you after it's done downloading. Okay, as you can see, the image has downloaded. I'm going to select next. I'm going to download Malena Etcher. So I'm going to click there. I'm going to download Etcher. I'm going to select Mac OS since I'm on a Mac. I'm going to close this tab. Come back to Hive OS. I'm going to click Next. And next I'm going to connect my SSD and I'm going to launch Etcher. So what I'm going to be using is a SATA to USB-C adapter. It's got USB on one side, SATA on the other. And then I'm going to be using an old SSD. So I get the focus there. So what I'm going to just do is get this connected here 
and this goes into the computer. So I'm going to connect the hard drive to the Mac. I'm going to click allow. I'm going to get an NTFS error message from an app. I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to go to my downloads folder. I'm going to double click the download for Etcher. I'm going to drag this into my applications folder. I'm going to open up the applications folder and I'm going to start Etcher. Since I just downloaded this off the internet, Mac OS is asking if it's okay for me to open this file. Okay, so I'm going to select the downloaded Hive OS image. Next, I'm going to select the hard drive that I'm connected. It's an Intel SSD 40 gig. I'm going to select that and I'm going to say flash. I'm going to put in the password to allow this to execute. I'm just going to click OK. And I'll speed this section up to where it's done. Okay, so this is the rig that I'm going to put that SSD on. I've got two 3080s, two 3080 Ti's, and one 3060 on this rig. And I'm going to put the SSD on this machine, so let me grab this hard drive. And I'm going to put this SSD in this machine. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've installed the SSD in this machine, and I'm going to turn it on. So give me one second. Okay, so I've turned on the machine. This is the first boot. So you can see it's booting up. Very first time. Zoom up here, you can see the video cards that it's found. So let's go back to the desktop and we'll continue there. Okay guys, to set up a wallet, you're obviously going to need to create a wallet within HiveOS. I'm on exodus.com and at the very top it says download. So I'm going to click download. And I'm going to click on the M1. Have an M1-M2. I'm going to go ahead and download. I'm going to open up that DMG. Now I'm going to drag that exodus icon to the applications folder. I'm going to open up the applications folder. And I'm going to start exodus. I'm going to click on open. And so your Exodus wallet starts. I'm going to click on wallet and then I'm going to do a search. I'm going to search ETC for Ethereum Classic. I'm going to click on the receive button. And what this is going to show is our Ethereum Classic wallet address. I'm going to click on copy. I'm going to go back to our Hive OS and I'm going to click on add wallet. I'm going to type ETC. I'm going to paste the address that we copied earlier. And then I'm going to enter a wallet name. I'm going to call this ETC wallet. And then I'm going to click on create. So we've now we've created our very first wallet. So the next thing we're going to do is create a flight sheet. I'm going to click on add flight sheet. Under coin, I'm going to select ETC. Under wallet, I'm going to select the new wallet that we just created. The pool, I'm going to choose Hive OS. And then I'm going to choose auto. And then click apply. The miner, I'm going to select LOL miner. I'm going to name this flight sheet. I'm going to call it ETC flight sheet. And I'm going to click on create flight sheet. So we now have a flight sheet configured for ETC. 
I'm going to go back to workers. I'm going to click on the rig ID. It says that it's missing the flight sheet. So here are the two 3080Ti's, the 3080's and one 3060 that we showed earlier. What I'm going to do is select flight sheet. I'm going to click on the rocket icon and what that's going to do is going to apply that flight sheet to this worker. And in a few minutes you'll see that these video cards will start hashing. I hit refresh and you can now see the video cards are hashing. So what I'm going to show you is how to look at the real-time view of the miner. I'm going to go up and click on remote access and then web shell. I'm going to get this warning that's not private. I'm going to click on advanced and I'm going to proceed. So I'm going to type user and then one enter. And now I'm going to type miner M I N E R. And here we're looking at the real time view of the miner. I'm going to go ahead and close this tab. I'm going to click leave. And we're going to go back to HiveOS. I'm going to go ahead and choose to upgrade the HiveOS. So I'm going to click on that yellow icon with the version number on it. And there on the bottom it says reboot after complete. And I'm going to click on upgrade. The miner will download the update and reboot automatically. So you guys can see that the miner has fully rebooted and is mining. All right, guys, that's it. We have successfully configured HiveOS. Thank you guys for watching.